On behalf of Centerpoint Energy, I want to welcome everybody here today. We're excited once again to be one of the, sp the sponsor of the most amazing race, and especially for the 10th anniversary of the event. We have a long history with the Salvation Army and partnering with them, and I'm happy to be sponsoring so we can help them with their hunger and homelessness program, which you guys all helped contribute to. Well, we've had a wonderful history of partnership together with Centerpoint Energy. Uh, we work on the Heat Share program together with them. We've done that for a number of years where they solicit donations from their customers and it goes to help people pay utility bills when they can't pay and afford those. You know, it's very important to us to give back to our communities. We serve so many across the state of Minnesota and uh, so being that big utility, we really want to kind of keep ourselves close to the community and always give back. And we have so many employees that donate so much of their time throughout the company, and we really encourage that. And it gives us pride to give back to our community. Three, two, one, go! What we've done is built a challenge for uh, the contestants to spend a day in the life of a Centerpoint Energy employee. Just like when we come to a job, they have to get to the engineering department and they've got to get their design. Yep, 6497 6191. And then they have to go over to the city hall and they have to apply for their permit. Five days of plastic. Then they have to go to the 811 office, or we call it the call in for Gopher State One call. Uh, any house land? The locates for your address have been cleared. Your ticket number is 5021. And then they are going to throw on their personal protection equipment, their hard hat, their vest, and their safety glasses because safety is our number one concern. You're off. Awesome. All right, thank you. We did this challenge two years ago and uh, the engineering department at Centerpoint Energy really kind of brainstormed. We got a bunch of people together and came up with this great idea. Yeah, one of our favorites from two years ago when they did it. Yeah, Just, I remember telling the engineers that this was the best one I had done. We had to stop down the road at like the city hall and pull the permits and get yeah. the clear from Gopher for that to dig and then come back and, and hook up the line. So it was pretty, pretty true to life. <laughs> Plug in that pipe. All right, go for pipe two. All the same steps that we do on every job in our territory. 